Hello and welcome to the Nürburgring TCR Long Race. Now this race is four laps long. I decided to bring the MG out of retirement and put hard tyres on the car. The reason behind this is to see if the MG can last two laps on one set of hard tyres, thus resulting in not pitting as often as everybody else, and roughly saving about 30 to 40 seconds each lap. That's the idea behind it, whether it works is a different matter. So as the race starts, we did manage to secure P1, just out of sheer luck. So here comes the countdown timer, 3, 2, 1, let's go. And I am surrounded by an MG to my right, Honda Civic's behind me, which is quite nice to see. You don't really see the Honda Civic that often on um, touring cars much anymore. It seems to be a car that's left for the qualifier series now. Coming round here, absolutely sending the MG, holding on for dear life, a little bit unsure the track as I'm coming down, breaking down the third gear. It's been such a long time since I've driven the MG. It's quite nice and refreshing to get back into it. Although I'm not used to the amount of understeer it has compared to what the Astra puts out. The Astra's rear end does like to step out a little bit and it is more of a sideways car compared to the MG with its uh, understeering habits. But the MG is still a very good car. I do like the way it sounds. Coming down here absolutely flat out. Trying to maximise the track as much as I can. And try and keep away from the cars behind. And pretty much create a stale area behind me. The more gap I've got from the cars behind me. The better well race position I'm going to have overall. So I'm going to send it right now as much as I can on this first lap. And pretty much hope for the best but you can see p2 lucid tie is only 2.2 seconds away i'm not really gaining much upon them as we're breaking down to third gear here as we come around this corner a little bit too deep there and they're coming around the other side we do see sdh vmr already have a four second penalty so that must be a contact of another vehicle they're usually your second four second penalty like that is contact with another car coming down it absolutely flat out through the section we're to the right lifting off down the gear over the curb we go and then breaking hard down to third gears we go around this corner now and then breaking some more down to second coming around this corner nice and smooth as much as we can trying to reduce that wheel spin trying to reduce uh poor driving really you see lucid tight is now 2.4 seconds away which is a really good lead we've got on them right now more than likely they are on medium tyres and me being on hard having that time gap away from them does give me a bit of, bre uh, bit of breathing space. The only issue is is once everybody starts stretching out the people that are quicker that are on the better tyre compound will start to reel me in. As we come around here in second gear coming up to the outer part of the kerb accelerating down the hill we go. Like I say yeah the, the worst part of it is the reeling in because you start seeing that time coming down then you start adding pressure in your head thinking I've got to go faster but you don't realise that you're at the disadvantage by being on the worst tyre compound. You see now coming through there a little bit sloppy they managed to gain a second on me coming through into this corner now absolutely sending it down the hill and totally fluffing up the exit. Lucid tie is in the Honda Civic and I got eaten up by a Honda Civic that is not good driving on my part breaking here down the third gear turning in Bouncing on the kerbs, trying to keep the car in rotation. You can see a little bit of contact is coming up behind. Audi ultimately makes that position work as I come out of that corner a little bit sloppy and accelerating up the hill. Now the Audi with a four second penalty is going to start reeling me in. They are going to be my slipstream. And the Audi is extremely overpowered on this track. And that's become as a common theme. You do see everybody rocking the Audi. And it is an absolutely quick car. You see them looking for a move, so I'm going to keep to my right hand side and let them take that position. I'd rather be in an Audi slipstream than fighting an Audi to try and save a position. But I don't know what happens here, but the Audi turns right on the left hand and sends me straight into the wall, and I pretty much lose four places. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. If you think that Audi did that deliberately, let me know down in the comments below. I'm not too sure what happened there, and I don't know why. They was quite chaotic at the beginning of the race. They did take out a few of the cars if you was eagle-eyed and saw in a rear view mirror. But to me, I don't know, you know, whether it was deliberate or not. They turned right and the left-hander. Was it Forza glue? Was it weird kind of something going on? Just let me know down in the comments below. 
trying to claw back a little bit of time here the audi is getting away from me and so is everybody else gg imagine is seven seconds ahead right now and i am three seconds behind the audi up in front jumping ahead to the start of the nice long straight we have made not much time up catching up to the honda civic up in front well trying to anyway lucid tight is 1.1 second away and although i am in the mg it doesn't have the power it used to anymore it did get a massive nerf and i'm topping out at 150 miles per hour only just making up a little bit of time to the honda in front so it does show you how off pace this car is compared to the audis and everything else gg imagine is 10.6 seconds away so they have gained a little bit over the course of the race compared to myself breaking here down to second gears we come into this corner a little bit slow there could have braked a little bit earlier Honda Civic goes into the pits and so does the uh, car that decided to take me off track. They do have a larger penalty, 6.45 seconds now, which is quite a lot. Surprisingly, though, everybody goes into the pit, so I'm the only one that decided, in the infinite wisdom that I had, to not go into the pits. This is where you see already at my tire wear right now, it wasn't the smartest of ideas. As you see, we're probably about a third, if not a little bit more, of a way through our tyres. Which means it takes a third of the tyres per lap. Now, as I get to, I think it's about 50% tyre wear. That minor wear comes up. I think it's about 60 to 65, maybe 70% tyre wear before moderate wear comes up. If you know the answer to that one, let me know down below. But um, it's just a guesstimated ballpark here. I never really checked. The thing is, once you're on minor wear, the drop-off is quite large. And especially on moderate wear, you run out of that thing called grip. As you can see, I am keeping a good lead from position 2 right now. They are 3.5 seconds away. They've only clawed back a little bit. I'm not too confident about sending it through flat out through that latter part of that section. But the next section coming up here, come over to the right -hand side. Let off the throttle a little bit, and it really does hang this track really well. Braking hard down to third gear here, and turning in. Again, trying to reduce the tyre wear. Second gear would be quicker, but I want to try and preserve these tyres. GG Imagine has caught up half a second behind me right now. I am absolutely giving this MG all it has got, but it... Really, it's not enough for a set of people on medium tyres, whilst also being an Audi. And my driving has not been perfect, as I do go sometimes a little bit too hot into corners and forget roughly where I am. Lucid Tie has quit the race. That's one person down. I'm not too sure what position they was in. Lucid Tie was the one in that Honda Civic, wasn't it? Anyway, I'm not too sure. We do see STH VMR in the race. They are 9.3 seconds away with a 6.45 second penalty. And Pankami 2 is in position 3 with, well, 7.4 seconds away. I'm not too sure what the timing board is like on here at the minute. Oh, I guess um, STH MR and Pankini had an incident because Pankini massively lost time and then they gained that position. Yeah, I don't think STH VMR is aware of their surroundings. As I come flat out down the section here, I've got a big blue glow coming up behind me. And I think GG Imagine is in a link. Now, like I say, I was saying earlier about the OP cars. The Audi is very OP in this race. Uh, I do see it a lot winning. And it's pretty much most of the time is um, um, Audi orientated in this race. And they do seem to win. But the competitor that I was really shocked at, that does really do well on this track, is the car that's coming up beside me right now. That link really shocked me because it is, and I let them pass, um, an absolute diamond on this track. And I thought, I didn't think, sorry, it would be as competitive as it is. So the, it really did shock me that how good the link is on this track. It seems to be great on tyre wear, great on um, performance and top speed. And it's the only car that I could turn around and happily say it puts an Audi to shame. I sort of wish I picked the Link and got my Link out of retirement and not the MG. The reason I picked the MG is because I thought it would, in a long straight bit of road, 
be quite strong but clearly the nerf has really hammered this car down and again it's been a long time since i've driven the mg some of you long time viewers will know the last time i've driven the mg is a good few months ago i think i drove it once or twice post nerf and that's when i decided to start looking at other cars due to i was had it for a long time you know i was racing it for a long time and i just wanted to chop, uh, start changing things up now the gg imagine is 2.3 seconds ahead and the audi behind me is 7.8 seconds away and my front tires are on minor wear which is not a good sign i'm only halfway through this race give or take and i still got another half to go but i am 12 seconds up this lap so i found a good 10 seconds somewhere i uh, can't really grumble at that but the audi behind is going to start eating at my heels as i come around here a little bit sloppy and then go straight into the wall because i i just wanted to inspect the fence and make sure it was perfectly in order for everybody on this track that is going to be my perfect excuse right there while we have a little bit of breathing space i'd just like to thank our channel members which is andy good jeffrey anderson dmc motorsport and phoenix aster thank you guys for supporting the channel and if you're enjoying what you're seeing here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's try and smash that 1000 mark coming out of the pits on the other side at the end of the lap Panki pan kami did overtake me and so did the audi with a 6.45 second penalty i decided to go again on a set of hard tires against my better judgment and see if i can try and catch up to the two cars in front stmr hvmr has quit the race i'm not too sure what happened there so it's just me and pan kami two in front now pan kami two it has a medium set of tires i have a set of hard tires they are going to be quicker than me plus i quite like the focus the focus is a very quick car to be fair so i just really need to play catch up it was at this point during catch up that i decided instead of trying to win the race by not pitting because i don't think i'm going to be able to catch up to gg imagine up in front even if i did then when i did overtake them whilst they were in the pits they're going to have the massive advantage on me on the latter half of the second lap so i just didn't feel like it was justified to try and race that person but as we come out of the pits at the start of lap four i decided to go for a medium set of tires and make pan kami 2 my main competitor in this race and i've got to give pan kami 2 their due we had an absolute blast to be fair we i was right up behind pan kami 2 keeping that pressure on and not forcing the position through as you can see it's a bit narrow this track and you've really got to be mindful that if we do make a move not to take another person with you or destroy him off the race it is a bit narrow and if you was going to make a move contact will more than likely occur so it's really not worth it coming down here now keeping right up behind pan kami 2 money really gaining upon them thanks to a bit of slipstream but other than that that focus is just leaving me for dust you can see i nearly went to the outer part of the track i could have had a much better entry on that corner but really that focus is an absolute animal in a straight line there's no two ways about it i mean i'm getting up to 155 here and they are still pulling i let off in this corner because i am going pretty quick and i don't trust the understeer of the mg breaking hard into this corner down the third gear and turning in i am trying my best to keep up with pan kami 2 up in front and they are obviously doing their best to try and keep me at bay as well and although we are absolutely sending it through the shot it was the one of the most fun battles i've had in quite a while where i would say that we were both extremely courteous of each other whilst pretty much near enough being on par skill wise and being the two totally different cars it was a recipe for an absolute blast and great fun and it goes to show as well at the end of the race i messaged pan kami too ggs at the race and we was chatting a bit after that and we both thoroughly enjoyed the battle we had together and you will see messages pop up from pan kami's car to say what they're saying like good race thanks blah de blah um i can't do that i'm on a wheel and the only option i do get is saying um do you know what? i can't remember what it said was it said thanks or either way i pop up a message and it doesn't really work or it does work and i don't get the option of choosing the message i want so i haven't used it in such a long time i've given up with it anyway 
absolutely sending it down here coming around looks corner fourth gear really on the edge of the what the mg can do coming down this hill breaking a little bit early hitting that grass absolutely fluffing up the corner for the 90th time because i don't know why i just can't get that corner right I, I, it's not even like a hard corner like you know it's just i just don't i can't do it <laughs> uh, and if you've had corners like that in a race before hit that like button because it's just sometimes you just can't do this corner pan cami 2 is off and leaving me for dust so i've got to play catch up again catching up to pan cami 2 we are right behind them right now 0 0.6 seconds away coming through this part of the track which is a bit weird it's an unusual part of the track where it's not about carrying a lot of speed you will carry your speed through but it's quite a technical part of the track where if you carry just a little bit too much you end up going off track like i did and i get myself a 0 0.6 second penalty at least i'm not the only one out now you know i was doing really well not having a penalty but i did feel left out on the board because everybody else had one i do get a 0 0.6 seconds which is the lowest of them all which i can't really grumble about Coming right up behind Pan Cami 2 up in front, coming round this corner, going a little bit sloppy in the back end, stepping out and having a little bit of a, a tire burnout. Now, then through this fast part of the track down here into the dip. Once we go through the dip hard and it breaks down to fourth gear, coasting it round this corner, I slow it out the other side, back over to the right hand side of the track and then back onto the left. And you can see them saying, Good race up in front. We are keeping each other on our toes, which is quite nice flat out through this section here right now really got to re just carry your speed as much as you can it is a brilliant section of the track breaking down here rubbing that curve and then r slowing down down to third gear coasting it around this corner went a little bit slow there and then into the carousel down to third gear rubbing that carousel as much as you can it slows it out of the corner go straight up the section and you want to take this as wide as you can really cutting into here and then back out into the left hand side of the track and then bringing it in on the right hand side and you can see that uh pankami 2 up in front is 0 0.8 seconds away right now and now 0 0.7 so i'm in the toe i'm going to hopefully start reeling them in but the mg doesn't reel them in as fast as i would like it to you see they're only 0 0.6 seconds away now and i'm almost topping out 155 miles per hour 0 0.5 seconds away i was hoping that i'd be able to slip past them along this back straight but it wasn't meant to be i think medium tires is also the best choice in this race because as you can see at the end of this lap i still have a tiny bit of tire grip left but right now 0 0.3 seconds away letting off and then stop breaking hard as you can down to third gear here and you can see Bankami 2 absolutely fluffs it and I join them now this is where the friendship begins he says good race I keep to the left hand side go to the right buddy and we'll cross the line together and you can hear them revving their engine crossing that line together and I, I did forget that, that I had a uh, smaller penalty than they did so i did get p2 but i would say we got p2 together because we crossed that line together and a friendship was made because um we started chatting to each other after the race and we had an absolute blast chatting about it as you can see the link was a good 45 seconds ahead of me at the end of the race and a lot of people did a dnfs uh, they chose that the finishing the race wasn't an option it's really nice to see though at the end of this race that we had a huge diversity of cars within this race we had a link the mg the focus and the link won it won by a good 45 seconds um i was behind and so was the focus and then the honda civic and it does go to show that although all the racing i've done this afternoon i've done five or six hours worth of racing just on this track alone and nine times out of ten it was massively dominated by audis that other cars can win especially the link the link is an absolute animal on this track so well done gg imagine i'm going to send you a message saying gg on the race thank you for watching see you all next time goodbye